right, all right. All right, here we go. On to game two. Jets versus the Raiders. What do you think about this game, Baron? Uh, I thought the Raiders put the foot in the Jets' hand. Yes, they did. Yes, um, they did. Look big and fucking mean. And and don't forget, they didn't. They had some penalties, but it wasn't crazy. They didn't play a dumb game. You could be physical and mean and tough, but if you play a dumb game, it all goes to waste. But yeah. like the Baron just told you, Raiders played a beastly, beastly game, and they out muscle, out physical, physicality, whatever. <laughs> The Jets, man, they really, really did beat up the Jets, and then, like, like good old Jr. used to say, yeah, he beat them like a two-dollar steak. It's gonna be a slobber knocker. <laughs> good old Jr. God rest his soul. <laughs> uh, so Sanchez has a, had a decent game. Uh, he. Uh, Scored two touchdowns, and he threw an interception. He had 369 yards, but that shit wasn't enough. They still lost by 10. You had one part of the game. I'm skipping a little bit. But you had one part of the game where after beating up on the Jets, the Raiders did, they went with two trick plays, one that involved uh, McFadden throwing the ball, which he did not. He tucked it and ran. And then another reverse play where... I think it was uh, Hayward Bay, no, right? It wasn't Hayward. I think it was like Moore or something. It was somebody. I don't know who it was. Yeah. Forgive the us. Kid, the kid was fast, though. All I the kid was fast. <laughs> and the Jets looked like they didn't want to tackle the dude. And he scores a touchdown. And then, probably the reason why they lost the game, because Cromarty had so many damn penalties and bonehead plays. They kicked the ball off to Cromarty, thinking Cromarty was going to energize the Jets. What does he do? He muffs the kickoff. Raiders get the ball back. How You can't win games like that. That's just bottom line. You can't win games like that. What you think, Baron? Okay, let me just say this, all right? The Jets' defense is overrated. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Yeah. They can't, they can't penetrate if uh, they had a condom on and the pussy was wide open, okay? Wow. All right? That's a little graphic there, sir. <laughs> wow, well, it's the truth. Okay? They are they're very horrible when it comes to penetrating the other team, and they're horrible when it comes to just trying to sack somebody. I Wait, we are talking about football, right? Yes, we are talking about football. Oh, okay, my bad, my bad. You're not talking about getting sex life. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, a testament to that, our boy Darren McFadden, that's his name, right? Darren McFadden, whatever. McFadden. They call him Run DMC, as they call him. Yeah, Run DMC, that's right. 19 attempts, 171 yards, two touchdowns. Beastly. Beastly, beastly performance by him. You know what that means? That means he was just looking past. I mean, yeah. Did you see that that big ass run he had on the Jets? He wasn't even uh, touched. Yeah, our boy, our ex giant, might have got away with a hold. Uh, Kevin Boss, he did hold the uh, the linebacker, whoever he did that to. But still, the rest of the Jets team gotta gotta get to this dude. He was untouched for like ten yards. Yep. You know, ten to fifteen yards, untouched. Ran it in for a touchdown. When I'm telling you, when that boy get ahead of steam, I don't want it. I don't want to get in front of him, but I'm not getting paid to tackle people. So there's no excuse for uh, for the damn Jets not to shore up that run defense. You know, that's one thing that they really got to look forward to. And they need to. Their offense is not that good. Okay. Yeah. They have little dink and dunk plays with with LT. LT was the only reason why they were. Yeah, um, L- L- Damian Thomason, five receptions for 116 yards and a touchdown. Plex had a touchdown, but he only had 55 yards, three receptions. Uh, Keller, he had 87 yards, but no touchdown. Yeah, so really, Ladanian Thomason was the only one putting in work. Yeah. Um, they, they have a, this is the problem with them is that they do not have a great offense. The West Coast offense is terrible. Yeah. Okay. 
double team his home. Burris doesn't look like he get, get off of his man quick enough, okay? And they don't actually play the Burris's uh, strengths. Yeah, the strengths and traits. Uh, basically, Burris needs time to get down, the, get down there, or they need to actually have him crossing the middle. He hasn't crossed the I haven't seen him cross the middle yet. Oh, he's not going to cross the middle. He's not, he's not, he got that Randy Moss syndrome. He ain't going to cross the middle. He don't want to do that. But Mason, and even, uh, even it seems like they don't even pass the ball enough to Mason. And it's kind of, it's a kind of a weird, funky offense. It, when it's good, it clicks, it's good. But when it's bad, it, it's pretty bad, okay? Yeah. They don't really have like a go-to play or a go-to player. When it comes down to like, I need to score the ball now. You know right. What I mean? Mm-hmm. It's more of a dink and dunk type of offense that gets lucky. That gets lucky. Wow. Yeah, that gets lucky. You never see them throw a uh, long, long touchdown for you know for. You see that, and the shocking thing is, you actually see the Giants go throw bombs for touchdowns than you do the Jets do. That's know? true, and honestly, I do. A, believe that the Jets have more of the pieces to go down the field. You got Keller, you got uh, Holmes, which would be your downfield target, or Burris. You go downfield with both those guys, and you should come up big. You know, Keller could be used in the middle of the field for short yard passes or whatever. Um, and then you go down the field, you know, you're using your strategy, but for whatever reason, they're not doing that. Hell, you could go down the field. This ain't Madden. You're right, but this ain't Madden, okay? But, but, you know, he has, they have done that in San Diego with him, where they put him out, and he automatically either takes the safety or, or he takes the uh, linebacker, okay? Right. Uh, I mean, basically, you could go four wide and just screw, screw, the, take, screw the other team. Yeah, take. different mismatches and everything. Yep, you're right. Yeah. Well, they better figure something out. They better get their offense going because their next opponent is the Baltimore Ravens, another strong, beastly team with a better offense, in my opinion. Um, than the Raiders, actually. A better offense with Joe Flacco, Rice. I don't even know about that. I think the Raiders might have a very, very good offense. Well, the reason why I say that is because I really think Joe Flacco is a way better quarterback than Campbell at this point in their careers. Um, Campbell could have a horrible game or he could be lackluster in the pocket where he makes slow decisions or whatever. And that's what haunts him in his whole career, holding the ball too damn long. Uh Flacco, he has a lot of targets. And, you know, Ravens, they got their defense still. They still got Ray Lewis. Uh, they got Rice. Uh, they could beat you a lot of different ways. They still got Ed Reed. They still got, you know, whatever. Um, so, it's going to be a real tough game, I think, for the, for the Jets. Uh, they got Hata, that big beast in the middle. Yeah. Uh, I mean, come on. And plus, they're always out for blood against Rex Ryan because he talked too much shit. And he thinks he is the, the sole creator of the Ravens. Yeah, basically, yeah. Uh, so what do you think the Jets got to do to uh, come out victorious on this game? Well, I need to bring uh, two things up. Your boy Sanchez got his bro- uh, nose broken, okay? Nice. And Cromartie may have cracked ribs or a punctured lung. So we'll <laughs> see how he plays. Well, if he's anything like Tony Robo, he's going to go back in the game. <laughs> Back to back, that's tough, man. I can beat them. That's tough. Two back to back, smash mouth, physical, really physical teams. I don't know if they could do that. It's going to be a tough one. Uh, I think the best thing the Jets could hope for is a low scoring game. 
maybe they could get beat, beat them in a low-scoring game. But if not, I don't know, man. I'm not even going to give a score for this one because I don't want to wish bad luck on anybody, but it might be a bad loss for the Jets. Another bad loss. This is a Sunday nighter, I think. I think this is a Sunday nighter. Yeah, it is, actually, yeah. Okay. Whew. I'll be looking at it, though. i tell you that. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. That's true. All right. So, let me get into my getting stamp of approval. <laughs> you know where it's going. It's going to go to Victor Cruz. Two touchdowns, whatever amount of yards he had. He did his thing. And I'm going to give another one to Eli Manning. And I'm going to give another one to Kevin Kilbride. That's right. Kevin Kilbride. Eli Manning, four touchdowns. Kevin Gilbride calling a masterful game. It seemed like his job was on the line, how good he was making those calls. So three stands of approval uh, goes out for me. All right, so Mr. Barron, what do you got for us? I got my bonehead plays of the week. Here. But wait, wait, wait. Before you get into that, hit me off with an AKA, boy. <laughs> That's right. Give it to him. Okay. Um, bonehead plays of the week. I'm giving to Asuma. I'm giving to Tom Brady. And I am also giving it to uh, Andy Reid. Andy okay. Reid? Andy Reid, okay. I'll tell you why Asuma. This motherfucker couldn't, uh, he, paid, he was getting paid $20 million and couldn't stop a guy that was getting paid 20000 and wasn't okay. drafted. And wasn't drafted. Tom Brady, I guess he was... Uh, Thinking uh, of his wife. With, I guess he was messing around with his wife, uh, you know, because he, he wasn't playing well uh, against the Bills, okay? And then I give you uh, Andy Reid. Andy Reid, why he, he's getting in there? He still try to have Michael Vick run around like Michael Vick was healthy. <laughs> uh, man off a concussion and was getting his brain brains blown the fuck out like if he was a hooker. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, I give them out of ten seven sharpshooters. <laughs> out of ten. There you have it. <laughs> this. And the best there ever will be. <laughs> All right, that wraps up our show. Week three, preview week four in the books. Subscribe, AKA like. What? AKA the Night Rider, bitch. <laughs> what, Johnny Cage Night Rider? I don't know about that one. <laughs> Johnny Cage. <laughs> anyway, we out. <laughs>